Imagine if we had a world where everyone was included and accepted for who they are. Imagine being able to go out and not be judged just because someone may think you look a little different. Imagine being able to go out and not have to worry about being stared at, pointed at or frowned upon. Imagine being able to enjoy an activity without having to advocate for the inclusion and acceptance before you even begin. Imagine going shopping and having to protect your child from snide remarks people are making. Imagine explaining to a classroom of children why your child, their friend, has not been allowed to participate in an activity. Imagine someone thinking your child cannot understand what they are saying and speaking about them as though they are not there. Imagine explaining to your child why people are moving away from them or not saying hello when they have said hello to them. Imagine having a 15-year-old boy with Down syndrome that has experienced all of what I have just shared with you. Now, imagine if that were your son, daughter, husband, brother, sister, friend or anyone else that is close to you. How do you think that would make you feel? How do you think you would respond to these situations? The feeling that you get when you experience what I have just talked about is a mixture of different emotions. Sadness, anger, hurt, heartache and heartbreak, annoyance, irritation, just to name a few. I'm Julie Fisher and I don't have to imagine any of these things because with my son Darcy who lives with Down syndrome, this is our life. These are things we deal with every time we walk out the door. This is his reality. We deal with these things every time we go out and as hard as I try, it is very hard not to notice and not to react. The emotions you go through wondering why people are behaving like this towards your child are endless. Deep feelings of being unhappy and then rage comes into it. Anxiety, feeling uncomfortable, together with trying to protect your child so they don't feel this. He can't speak today, but as his mum, I am speaking for him. When we experience these things, and Darcy feels it too, it makes him feel awkward and as though he shouldn't be there. Even at 15, if he feels as though someone is being unkind toward him, he comes very close to me and hides behind me. He doesn't like feeling like this and he doesn't understand why it happens. Can you imagine, as a mother, how that makes me feel? We do have many wonderful and positive experiences when going out and about and when Darcy participates in these activities and these moments are amazing. It restores my faith in humanity and allows me to see a bright future for him. The positive experiences can be small things, such as someone saying hello back to him when he greets them or waving back when he waves. Simple things like this can make a massive difference to your day. When Darcy is included in an activity and people have the patience to show him the steps if needed and then celebrate with him when he achieves something, these moments are amazing. You can see everyone involved enjoying the moment and feeling happy. They've helped him to learn something new or even just to be part of the group. I have a quote, give people a chance and watch them shine. It is something that when people are given a chance and you do see them shine, you also see everyone bursting with pride and happiness. Inclusion and acceptance are something I think everyone thinks they do. However, when you step into the world of disability, you see that many don't embrace this. Including and accepting is many things. Inviting someone to participate, allowing them to join in, seeing them as a person and hearing their voice. But it is also as simple as someone feeling comfortable just to go shopping, catch a bus or a train or go for a walk. Many things we all should be able to enjoy. When I take my son shopping, I see the stairs and the points and I hear the remarks. Again, this makes me feel very sad and I always wonder why. Why do they feel the need to do this? 
Do they realise what it does to our day? At 15, he is also becoming more aware of all of this, so I try to shield him from it. I guard and protect him because I want him to be comfortable wherever we go. I shouldn't have to do this. I should be able to just let him walk beside me without a care in the world. To some, disability can be scary, but it doesn't need to be. Maybe this is why some people behave the way they do. I don't know. We just must remember that we are all people first and we all have feelings. How do you think you would feel if someone made a remark about your child that didn't affect their life at all? Something like, oh, he's got a nappy on, how disgusting. Or while your child is standing right next to you, someone says, oh, I'm sorry you have to deal with this, meaning his disability. Getting ready to watch your child participate in a swimming event at school. Something everyone in the class has been very excited about. Only for it to be ruined by someone who didn't think before they spoke. Didn't come to me to ask me questions first. In front of the whole class, just before they were about to get into the boat in the pool, pointing at my son and saying, you won't be participating. You can't have an oar and you won't be going in the boat. Can you imagine how that made everyone feel? This impacted the entire group of children as well as my son. My son, who has never run off from anyone, looked her in the eyes with such hurt in them and proceeded to try and run out of the building. Everyone was silent and shocked at what had just happened. Thankfully, this was resolved after a meeting with the school and the following week at the swimming class, Darcy was able to participate without any problems. While sitting waiting for the class to begin, one of the children said to me, is Darcy allowed to join in now? When I said yes, the entire class erupted in cheers and clapping. It was a wonderful moment, but at the same time, I was sad that the children had all felt the negativity from the week before. It impacted all of them. The rest of the lessons and future classes were all very positive, and if the teacher had a question, she would come to me. We would resolve any doubts she had, and we were able to move forward. Imagine that response in a community setting. If the children in the class with my son felt that joy of Darcy being included, imagine the impact on a much larger scale. Imagine if everyone felt the heartache of exclusion, not understanding why it had happened, and then the amazing response of joy when seeing someone being included and thriving. Another example of feeling excluded is when you walk into a shop and the assistant immediately begins to behave in a way that you know they think your child is going to ruin the shop. Even though he has walked in quietly with me, they act as though they want us out straight away. I never return to these shops because I don't want my son being treated like that. My son understands everything people say and do. He may not be able to communicate as well as he would like, but don't be fooled. He understands fully. You don't always have to do too much to make someone feel included and accepted in their surroundings. Just a smile or a wave is all it takes. Instead of staring and pointing, smile and wave. Everyone deserves to feel comfortable in their surroundings, even if it is just the fact of being in an environment with others, enjoying whatever it is they're doing. Sometimes just being part of a group is all it takes. Think about how you would feel if you and your child were made to feel like this. Made to feel as though you shouldn't be where you are or participating in something. Imagine how it would make your child feel. You don't have to be best friends with everyone, but it is important to be accepting and kind. If you are not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. Don't be that person. Be the person that is kind. Be the solution. I want inclusion and acceptance to be something that happens all the time so people can enjoy life as it was meant to be enjoyed. Everyone deserves to feel comfortable and they deserve to be treated with kindness. This is my son. This is Darcy. I wouldn't change him for the world, but I will change the world for him. <laughs>